Hi everybody, I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video to show you how we get the look of a raw wood top without getting the yellow, orange, or red tones uh, in the natural wood. So if you're not sure what your wood would look like if you just sealed it with a clear sealer or used a wax, um, what you can do is strip it down, sand it down to the bare wood, and then apply a little bit of water to it. And then you'll get a sense of what the natural color of the wood is. So Stuart did a great job carefully sanding down the top of this uh, Malcolm dresser. It is a wood veneer, so it had to be sanded very carefully not to go through to the chipboard. And uh, I suspect I'm not gonna love the natural color of the wood, so uh, what I've done, this is just a uh, wet paintbrush with water, and I'm just going to apply it to the top of the wood here so I can see what the natural tone of the wood is. And that would, of course, be what it looks like when you apply some sort of clear top coat or sealer to it. As you can see, it's, it's not bad. It's not as orange, yellow, or red as uh, you sometimes get in veneers on these old furniture pieces, but it's a little bit um, more vibrant than I would like. So we're going to do a whitewash top to it. And the way we're going to do that is using a mix of, I'm using Cottage White Mineral Paint by Cottage Paint. And I just added uh, water to that, about half and half mixture. As you can see, it's pretty watery there. And what I'm going to do differently than just a straight whitewash is I'm going to apply it more like a stain. So I'm going to use a chip brush and I'm going to paint that on. And then I'm gonna wipe it back with a lint-free rag. So here we go. I'm just gonna load up my chip brush. These little brushes are super handy to have around. I mean, you wouldn't want to apply a paint coat with them because they're um, rather rough, but they're good for jobs like this where you're just uh, trying to get something on and then you're going to wipe it back. So here we go, painting on our water and white paint mixture. coverage there and you can let it sit there for a minute before you wipe it back. Let it really soak into the wood. You can work in sections at a time. If you're worried that it's going to start to dry or soak in more than you would like, then you can just work in small sections at a time. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go with my lint-free cloth and I'm going to wipe back where I've applied my whitewash. This is just an old cut-up t-shirt which I really like to use for these kinds of projects because they've been washed so many times you know that there's no lint left to come off on your project. Okay, so there you can see, we still get the natural look of wood, the grain coming through there, but we've really eliminated a lot of that yellow and orange tone to the wood with our white wash mixture there. So it's quite a pretty light uh, wood tone that we've got now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the rest of this and I'll be sure to post more pictures so you can see the final result. Thanks for watching.